So to start out, I just take a strand and, of yarn and I just put my hook down into the hole and take this strand underneath and lay it on top of the hook. And I ease it out of the hole at a 45 degree angle and then pull up. Now all my ends are going to be up on top and all my beginnings will be up on top. Then I'm going to go into the very next hole and go down into the hole. Again, with this hand, put the wool on the yarn on top of the hook and then pull it up. And when I'm pulling it up, I'm easing it out of the hole at a 45 degree angle. If you were to pull straight up, the hook won't come out or it'll end up pulling some of the other uh, loop out that you already did. Um, just from a tension standpoint, it gets caught in the other strands of the linen. So when you're pulling up a loop, make sure you pull it at a 45 degree angle, easing it out and then pulling it up to be the same height as the other loops. So I just go down in again and then I pull up the loop and again I'm just making sure that this hand has no tension at all. The only job that this hand has is when the hook is down in the linen and I put the hook all the way into the linen, all this hand has to do is put the yarn on top of the hook and then let go because if you were to hold it and you hold it with any kind of tension at all, what you end up doing is pulling out the last loop that you put in because it's not you're not allowing it to take up the yarn from this end, so it'll take it from the back side. So that's a big mistake that common that beginners uh, make. So again, put the hook into the hole, lay the yarn on top of the hook, let go, and then pull up the, the hook at a 45 degree angle, easing it out of the linen, out of the hole. And then you just continue this process until you have filled in the portion of the pattern that you are wishing to fill in with um, that color. And again, I go about every other hole um, when I am putting yarn into uh, on, onto the, the linen and then to end it all I do is come up pull my end my yarn up and then I cut it off to be the same height as the other loops and again then I'll go up to the very beginning one and do the same thing so now if you look all of my ends and my loops are at the same height so that when this gets filled in, you won't be able to see where the ends are, where the ends are and where the loops are. 